Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with the penultimate round of the LCR Project Cars Euro GT3 League where we head to the home of British Racing. We're here at Silverstone and going into this one, obviously last time I had Imola, I apologise this video was taking me about three weeks to actually get up. Um, yeah, going to Imola last time, it was a bit of a learning experience, obviously we made a few mistakes, but, you know, it was our first race back on Project Cars 2 in well over a year. So, yeah, I mean, we, we took it on the chin, and we hoped to continue on heading on into this week here at Silverstone. Now, I'd done a bit of practice pace on the one lap, didn't feel so good this week, but over race pace I was hoping, you know, I'd be a bit more consistent, everything like that, hopefully. We could see where we end up at the end of the day. Only five of us this week. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make the final round of the championship that happened effectively now last week at the time of recording this. And unfortunately, due to lack of numbers, this did end up being the final round of the championship here. But currently on board then with my fastest lap from qualifying in the background. You can see so far it's been an okay lap, fairly tiny. A couple of little mistakes here and there, but all together so far. It was certainly a lap that I was quite happy with. Currently, Ben's actually on provisional pole, 1.3 seconds up the road here. But as we head now down in towards the old Sector 1 here through Cops, uh, sorry, Magda Beckett's even, I should say, in towards the final few corners. They're just going to click the grass on the inside there. That's going to run me out a little bit wide, but luckily not losing too much time from that one there. And setting a best six two time, we're about seven tenths up on my previous lap. And there was a lot of time to find in sector three on this run here as we head down in towards the final couple of corners then at the end of the hangar straight trying to get the car dialed in nice and tidy to the inside there running a little bit wide on the exit of the corner there as we head now down in towards the final break and so just after the 100 meter board they're trying to get it pinned towards the inside curb there through the final corner really trying to ride the curbs through it there as you can see out of the final corner down towards the start finish line here just getting a little bit loose over that inside curve, but we keep it pointing in the right direction and we take pole position by half a second there over LCR Ben at that stage of the session. Only 40 seconds left on the clock, so we're going to try and go for another run there, but unfortunately, just dip a wheel on the grass, get a bit of a tank slapper there, accidentally take out the 50 meter board in the process and completely go into turn three facing the wrong way there. But at the end of qualifying, though, we would hold on to pole position. Ben would improve only three tenths off us in the end ahead of Mel. And Apex there, and now current champion Jordan is not going to bother qualifying there at the end of the day. But we're almost ready then for the start of what would end up being the finale of the LCR Euro GT3 League here at Silverstone. 17 laps ahead of us, only going to be about a 40 minute sprint style race as well. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this. So here we are then on the grid, ready for the Project Cars Euro GT3 League here at Silverstone and it's lights out and oh wait, we go there and Apex actually jumping the start straight up into the lead. Not too sure what happened there. As you can see, as we head down in towards Tom 1 there, Mel and Ben both try to have a bit of a look up the inside through the first couple of corners there. But yeah, Apex already picking up a drive through straight off the start of that Grand Prix there as we head down, down in towards turn two and turn three here. We can't get stuck behind him for all too long as well here. As you can see, trying to get a good run there. A little bit of lag actually coming from Apex off the exit of the first complex there. As you can see, trying to get out on to the back straightaway here and trying to build a little, bit, a little bit of a margin as well to the guys behind. That was hopefully going to be the aim in the first few laps of this race there. As Apex just breaking a little bit earlier than I was expecting there. We tried to hook it up around the outside, but unfortunately we're just going to run a bit too deep through the corner there. Try to have a bit of a look up the inside. There's a lot of contact there as we tried to get the nose up the inside. He tried to turn in on us there, but it's going to be a drag race off the exit of the corner there. But we are now up into the lead of this British Grand Prix here as we head now down the next straightaway. You can see Apex just still keeping the nose on the outside there. Mel is going to try and look up the inside of him in towards the old turn one as well there. But we hold on now. Back up into the lead of the race there. Unfortunately, Apex just going to run a bit wide through there as we head in towards Magnuson Beckett's once again here for the opening time in this race. Just trying to keep it nice and tidy. Obviously, we're running a lot of fuel in the car. Obviously, we want to try and keep these tyres in check as well as we head out towards the end of lap one. Down the hangar straight we go in towards Stowe. You can see we're about six tenths ahead of Mel towards the end of this opening lap but the, you know the slipstream is quite powerful on project cars too especially when you get up towards the top end 
of the speed there. As you can see, Ben trying to look around the outside, potentially of Mel, in towards the front, a couple of corners there. And the top four separated by about a second here as we head down in towards the front, a couple of corners there. Mel, Ben and Jordan all right behind us here as we run a bit deep through the penultimate corner here. Try to get the power down out of the final corner there. Avoid the curb on the inside after an unsettled us in qualifying there. But we've now led a lap of the LCR Euro GT3 League as we head now down in towards turn one once again here. Can we try and keep it nice and tidy through the first couple of corners here? Running a little bit wide off the exit of turn two there. As you can see, just running a bit deep in towards turn three here. And this was something I really struggled with all race long was just trying to keep the tyres down, keep them in check. As you can see already, the left-hand tyres started to struggle a bit already with temperature. Obviously, they want to be green, like we can see on the right-hand side tyres there. But yeah, the, the left, especially that rear left, I was really, really struggling to keep it in a good operating window here. As we head down the Wellington Strait once again into Brooklyn, as you can see, trying to keep it nice and tidy at the moment. Like I said, really, really focusing on just trying to keep the tyres in good nick and see how long you know they'd be able to last in this race. Because personally, I'd started on a set of the soft compound tyres. The others, I think, had started, or I know at least Jordan had, I'm pretty certain, on a set of the hards, because I think everyone was struggling with the temperature, but I'd taken the risk. They don't cost you too much time around here, the hard compound tyres. They don't really anywhere on project cars, but it was definitely a little bit of a pace disadvantage. So as you can see, I think Jordan's now trying to look around the outside of Ben as we head down towards Maggots once again. They're just getting very, very loose, actually, through the first part of Maggots. They're in towards Beckett's once again. Mel, actually, is going to stick the nose up the inside there, and we're going to have to completely take evasive action from that one there as we rejoin the track, actually, alongside Jordan and Ben here. We're going to be three wide as we head down in towards the next couple of corners here, down in towards Stowe and a veil here and we're just going to try and break our normal point on the outside then ben is actually just going to try and hang us out to dry there and jordan's made the double overtake work on the exit of the corner there and we've gone from first to fourth by the end of lap two here breaking nice and tidily in towards the final couple of corners there actually a little bit of front wing damage oh not front wing even i should say just the front bumper through the final couple of corners there but over the next couple of laps we really really be starting to struggle with that rear tyre here, as you can see, Mel was trying to park the bus. This was a fantastic four-way battle over the first few laps of this race. Hopefully, we can just try and stick with these guys and see how long it lasts there. As Jordan goes full send up the inside through turn one here. Are we going to be able to get any sort of move on Ben as well? As you can see, just getting all over the back of him there. But that rear tyre, look at that, already orange as we head out now onto the back straight once again here. Trying to get the power down, just running a little bit wide there is Ben up the road and in the slipstream we are trying to potentially have a look here Jordan goes defensive on Mel as we head in towards the next breaking zone there's going to lock the rears Ben's going to have to avoid him I'm going to lock the rears as well trying to avoid Ben so a huge huge Constantino effect and unfortunately for me I go pirouetting in the grass there and unfortunately that's going to put me as we go for another one as well and yeah unfortunately for me it was a good battle for the first three laps of this race whilst it lasted but yeah that would unfortunately drop me way way back from the other guys there as you can see our tyres were massively overheated as well here and unfortunately that would pretty much be the end of our race I'm not going to sugarcoat it we picked up a little bit of damage a bit of the way through there and I'm not too sure why we're struggling so much in towards the final couple of corners there but yeah unfortunately after that just basically ran around by myself for the rest of the night there but it would be P4 at the end of the race there once again so two P4s in a row at the end of the LCR season there here on Project Cars. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't do as many races in this series as I would have wanted there. But, you know, it was good fun nonetheless, obviously, to just jump in for a couple of rounds there. Jordan takes home yet another win there. He actually won all seven races this season, so a fantastic job by him with Ben in second, Mel third, myself fourth, and Apex fifth at the end of the day but yeah thank you all so much for watching this video nonetheless though do get yourself subscribed if you're new around here and you do want to see more project cars content on the channel hopefully hopefully lcr will be returning to this game down the line but i might try and do something on ps4 as well where you know the game actually works a bit better potentially in the near future but yeah thank you all so much for watching this video do get yourself subscribed and hopefully i'll see you guys next time for more league racing content